This is a message to Bob Trovich. Brian Danielson has yet to accept my challenge. Now, I'm willing to be patient, and I'm willing to wait my turn. And I'm also, unlike him, willing to earn my opportunities. Now, Mr. Trovich, just to make you aware of who I am, my name is Lou Marconi. I'm a 17-year veteran in this sport. I was broken into this business by a WWE professional named Charlie Fulton, not in somebody's backyard. I have held every championship in my territory, just with this one recently as well. See, I've actually earned something in the NWA. <laughs> I also have been in the ring with the best in the world. So Mr. Trowich, what I'm saying to you is, is that Adam Pierce doesn't have much to worry about because Brian Danielson is a 180 pound glorified backyarder. Yeah, I said it. Maybe that'll get him out. Maybe that'll come out from the Rockies underneath him. Is he actually worth all this money he's earning? Does he deserve that money these independent promoters are throwing at him? I mean, he spins around that proverbial pole and they make it rain with money. Has he earned it while other guys are driving 10 hours and scraping and scrounging for gas money? Has he really had to do that? I don't know. You tell me. Maybe at the same time you can explain to me why people like Paris Hilton and the Kardashians are famous. So Mr. Trovich, take my message and do what you want with it. But if you respect the integrity of the National Wrestling Alliance and the history and the tradition behind that title belt, then you'll listen to me and you'll listen to other people in this business. And Adam, Pierce, you better beat that guy if you know what's good for you. Because if you don't, I will.